What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Lock Fitness here. I thought I'd add this just before the start of the video. I have actually already trained, as you'll see in the video. But I was thinking, what, what makes somebody successful and how are the successful people successful? And I came to the conclusion, it has to be an obsession. So make sure whatever you're doing in life to become successful, that you are obsessed with. Also guys, I just wanna say, don't waste time doing things that aren't going to promote to your success. Obviously have fun and enjoy yourself, but make sure the majority of your time is pushed towards a thing that promotes your success, that will give you your success. That's why I'm gonna keep banging up these YouTube videos as my idea of success is reaching out to as many people on this channel, showing my journey, showing how you can get through harder times and become a better person. But you have to start working today, so promote your time the best you can towards success. You're joining me with the fart of my cappuccino and the little chocolatey sprinkles. So we're about to have our breakfast and then we're going to go and train some legs and biceps. We're currently in, uh, it used to be weather spoons, I don't know what it is now. Breakfast is served, pancakes, golden syrup and bacon and an egg and bacon muffin. Let's get it on. And today's pre-workout with super creatine. Whilst well, drinking the pre-workout, you're going to watch a bit of Mike J Fitness. It is an absolutely glorious day. It is a glorious day because it's our leg and biceps day. So we're going to drink our pre and watch some of this. Not too sure. If you didn't know, this is the guy that I met up at Body Pair with and I've known for like over a year and stuff now. And we're going to fucking smash YouTube and take over, basically. But yeah, I'll put his link in the bio. You can go and check him out and expect like loads of good content. So it's currently 11 minutes past three on the 29th on Bank Holiday Monday. And if you were wondering, yes, after the um, breakfast, I did come back. You might think, how hey, is this week three, Greg? You uploaded a week one seven days ago. Well, basically, it's I call it week, but it's like four day split, five days you're doing cardio and core on a separate day. At the moment, I've just been doing it on the end of this leg and bicep day, so I will be doing my core. I am really doing cardio at the moment, I just don't really feel it's necessary for me at the moment. But yeah, it's kind of like a four day split, really, and then back on. You can rest. I haven't really been taking rest days or anything, but it's all going good for me at the moment. Maybe a rest day coming up soon, but I'm enjoying putting the content out and training hard. It's not not really getting injured or anything, so let's get it on. Going for the squats first, five times five. We are moving up straight up to 110, so that's another five kilogram jump. So let's see if we can get all five sets. I'm pretty confident that we will. Also, again, I'm putting my heels on these when I squat for the extra support. It really does help me. I, I might purchase some squatting shoes, but why not just use these? Here we are with another saucy voiceover in week three of legs and biceps and we start in the squats off with 110 kg a five by five and that's a 5 kg increase since last legs and biceps which i'm extremely impressed about because on one of the days i did a double training day as well so my legs didn't really get the full recovery so next time we're gonna actually try 125 by five which is another 10 kg increase that's the first set complete that felt pretty good bar speed wasn't quite where I thought it would be. But let's see if we can get all five sets on 110. Remember, rest for about two minutes when you're doing the five by five compounds. Right guys, into the hardest part of the session, super setting lunges with goblet squats. Going for 12 kg lunges and 22 kilogram goblet squats. Last session, I did actually not complete this exercise as I ate too close to training and I didn't want to be sick. Let's go today, let's make up for it. This is the most deadly superset for legs that I've ever done. So, light weight's needed on the lunges. You don't need a massive weight. If you're like a beginner, you don't even need a weight. So we're just doing 10 on each side, so it's 20 in total, and then bang straight into the goblet squats. I thought I'd leave all the reps in to show you that, you know, form does sometimes slip um, in the middle of an exercise like you might see me lean to the left lean to the right That's because I do have imbalances in my back at some point But really try and keep as tight as you can and your imbalances will slowly work this, themselves out Also, I just want to re reiterate whatever that word is. Yeah, I just want to repeat That's more my type of word that this is not like a week week one is not seven days basically, it's 
like I said before in the earlier in the video, it's four days on, uh, five of you doing the cardio and core, but I am not resting as much as I should be, and why not if it's not like stopping me from doing anything, basically, yeah. Four foot sets complete, 12 kg, 22, didn't have to drop the weight. And now we're gonna move on to leg extensions. Let's get our breath back first and let's fucking eat it. So last time we did 59, four times 10. This time we're moving up to 66. Let's get it. Onto the leg extensions now. This is pretty easy for 10 again, four times 10. I might have to crank it up two notches next time. I mean, I mean if, it, if it's like easy for me, I may as well smash it up more, which you can see on the next exercise I did do. So last time, and the last time we did do legs and biceps was, uh, I mean, stiff-legged deadlifts was in week one, as we didn't do it in week two, as we uh, ate too close to training, and this is an exercise that'll make me sick. So yeah, I did just 60 kg, which is a 20 a side first week, and on this, because I missed a week, I thought, forget this, I'm banging an extra 10 on, so we managed to get 80 kg a side, four times 10, and I'm really excited to see what this does for my actual deadlift. I mean, next deadlift session, I might go for 120 kg, five by five. So, honestly, the gains are actually going really rapid at the moment. I didn't expect to gain like this after my tendonitis cleared up. I didn't expect to make these gains again. And such as, like, bench presses as well, making so, much, so many gains on it, man. All right, calf press, standard procedure. Just started to rain. <sighs> Fuck you. Last exercise and an exercise that I'm not too sure about. It kind of like messes up my knees I think. Um, it's really hard to get the correct positioning of the seat as well. As you see I'll stop there because it just doesn't feel right but uh, I might actually stop doing this. I'm not too sure or I might do it on light reps. But yeah we'll see what happens. Alright guys moving on to the biceps. Literally the benches were all taken and then I saw an incline bench set up literally in front of the bench press so I thought I'm jumping on this. The lighting's terrible because of the bench position. I'm not actually recording with a potato for this clip, it is actually the uh, lighting above. Or maybe I didn't focus the camera, I'm not too sure. But 20kg, 4 times 10 with a rest pause in the third, second, third and fourth set. In this set I did not rest pause, I grinded the reps out. But in the other sets it just made sense to keep the form. Like, if you need a rest pause, it is allowed, guys. Remember, you can rest pause in a set, but only one. All right, I have noticed from watching myself on these easy curl bars, I'm doing drag curls. So, as you see, my elbows are behind my hips. They should be in line or slightly in front of my hips. So, this is why the peak on my bicep is so good. I do need to change the form, though, as... I hit um, another exercise for peak of the bicep, which is the last bicep exercise that we do. All right, this is a second to last, I think, or no, this is just this is just the third bicep exercise. So this is standard hammer curl, swinging a little bit. Well, it is a squeeze at the top, so I am getting the contraction. I managed to get all four sets on 20 kilograms, which is a pretty big Been boost. in the gym for about an hour and a half so far. Two more exercises to go. Wide grip barbell curls next to me, doing it on 20 kilograms. The progression so far has been really good. I decided to do rest pause on the incline and try and stick at 20 kilograms. So for three sets, I did do one rest pause. But as long as I'm getting the incline biceps on 20 kg plus, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that. And a rest pause is allowed in this plan, so let's get it. Okay, same on the wide grip barbell curls. I'm doing a drag curl, which is where my elbows are further back than they should be. And it's like I'm dragging the bar up my body. So I do need to change this. But this is an exercise that is helping me so much with my symmetry. If you look in the mirror on this exercise, you'll see if one shoulder's higher. All right, guys, last exercise here. We have the, oh, I don't even know what to call these, hand-to-face curls. And this really hits the peak of the bicep. It's a variation of how you do it as the other cables are being used. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. raining as you can probably tell by the hair just get out of the local shop next to the gym 24 7 because it's um, a bank holiday monday and i forgot so we're limited on food today but yeah the guy at the till saw the gains obviously phoned up his um his nephew or something like that and uh gave me the phone like he wanted some advice on gaining so i'm always here to help man even in the local budgeons thanks a lot for watching guys it has been Greg Lock Fitness. Like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.